Thanks, Victor. My next guests are Syrian sisters who say the chemical attack was a torturous way to kill, and they are doing what they can to help out friends and family left behind. Now, they are praising the administration for launching these strikes against the regime. I'd like to welcome Huda and Heba Saib uh, joining me now. And uh, we actually do not have your sister Sibo with us. You are two of triplets. I would like to point that out. Um, but just tell me about the, your reaction to the chemical attack. Uh, what you thought when you saw those pictures, and also what went through your mind when you saw this strike happen uh, on the Syrian uh, base? So, of course, seeing a chemical attack, it's a, such a torturous way to kill, and it's a horrific way to act on your own people. And we, we just want to focus on the children that went through this and are going and are stuck in the middle of this war. So the, these children, they're stuck in Syria. They're being un, under threat for their lives. They are being bombed, now chemical attacks. Um, it just seems like the situation keeps escalating more and more, and they have no other way out, which is why we think the, um, the administration and the, um, the United States should go for, further in letting these kids who are stuck in this situation in because they can't move on with their lives. Uh, well, and, and certainly, I want to talk to you about that, especially you can speak to that as Syrian uh, refugees. But Huda, I wonder, when you saw that this strike had taken place, were you surprised? What was your reaction? I was surprised that the air, air strike had taken place because after six years, uh, more than six years of um, kind of silence from America, uh, this is a positive step towards Syria, and it's a good leadership and initiative that's happening for the Syrian people. And uh, what did you think, Heba? Well, um, we were completely surprised that something like this has ever happened. For us, uh, any chemical attack on uh, its people, any danger to people is something horrific and something completely we, no one should ever stand for. Uh, as Americans and as uh, the ability that we have as American people to help these Syrian refugees, we th I think that we have so much resources here, so many resources here that we can uh, use to help Syrian children and uh, further their education, help them, and just save these people. So you're, you're glad, and if you can speak to something, you're certainly glad to have seen this, this attack. I know so many people, uh, certainly your family members must have felt like this was a long time coming. but. To your point, to your sister's point, how do you square this with President Trump's policy when it comes to refugees, and what do you want to see? This, uh, the airstrike and this kind of warning towards uh, the Syrian government, it kind of contradicts with his policy towards the Syrian refugees. You can't um, sympathize with the Syrian people to the point where you have an airstrike and at the same time keep them in that kind of situation. because you're keeping them locked in and forcing them under these bombs and under the chemical attacks. Yeah, but what do you think about that? I, uh, I do agree with that. Um, I do think that a part of helping these people, it's not just by uh, using these uh, chemical attacks, but also and striking them is by bringing them in, helping them, uh, bringing them into our country. You uh, have, a, I'm sure, or, or tell me if you have not. Have have you or your parents been in touch with your family back home? What are you hearing? Yes, um, we are there currently in uh, Damascus, so they're in the uh, safe uh, zone for where they are. But um, they're all just completely shocked that something like this has happened, and are hoping uh, for the best. Well, we're certainly thinking of uh, you and your family uh, at this time. Thank you so much, Huda and Heba Saeed. We do appreciate you joining us. And if you do want to help the people in Syria, you can go to CNN.com and click on Impact Your World.